Hi everyone, today I'm excited to share with you all Insta360's brand new 360 camera, the 1 inch 360. Now, as the name implies, this camera has a 1 inch sensor, or rather two in 1 inch sensors, one on either side. Anyway, this allows it to really increase the resolution, the dynamic range, and low light capabilities that have really been a stumbling block for 360 cameras up until now. And this thing really does deliver. And I'm so excited to show you all the amazing footage I captured with it. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of that. So in terms of image quality, this camera really does deliver. It offers superior uh, image quality, in, especially in low light and high contrast situations compared to other 360 cameras that you can buy right now. This is a very good camera for shooting in low light situations, particularly star lapses. I'll show you what I mean in a minute, but this thing is an incredible tool for astrophotographers. And just for any filmmaker who wants to shoot, say in the forest like this, where we have a bright sky outside and it's dim in here in the trees. So you really need a lot more dynamic range. And this camera has more dynamic range than you would find in other 360 cameras. It's really pretty impressive. And of course you get 6K resolution as opposed to 5.7K resolution, which is present in the 360's other 360 cameras. Uh, so, and that is a noticeable bump in my experience. It's, it's really nice. Anyway, let's take a look at that star lapse. Now let's talk about audio. You might have noticed that the audio is extremely good, but I'm not recording with the camera's microphones right now. Those are okay, but they're not really that great for really crisp, clear vocals. Right now, I'm recording with this little DJI wireless microphone here, uh, which is an excellent system. I use it all the time. Highly recommend it. I love that I can just plug it in to the 1 inch 360 edition here. Uh, we, as it's and it in fact makes the microphone disappear from the video because the microphone module that I can show you really quick right here is about the width of the camera which is excluded from the lenses it's really kind of it's really pretty cool and I'll just uh, get a quick video of it right here so you can see uh, yeah and I haven't attached any rubber bands right now. I just threw this setup together really quick to record this video, and it works pretty well like that. There's probably a better way of attaching that, but that's what we're going with for now. Anyway, so that is just another reason why this is a great video making tool, because it can record great audio with an external microphone. That's uh, a really clever solution to a problem that it has that I've had with 360 cameras in the past, which has been that the audio quality hasn't been really top notch, but with this, I can make it top notch by adding an external microphone, and that's pretty cool.
in terms of durability, this camera is pretty tough. Uh, it is very, fairly rugged and it is weather resistant. It's not fully waterproof unless you buy a dive case, which I do highly recommend because thanks to this large one inch sensor and its, and its uh, low light capability, this would be a great camera to use underwater where you really need that low light sensitivity. Uh, but uh, in, if you don't have the dive case, it can do a fairly, it can stand up to like heavy dew. I've had it out, standing out at night when uh, there's been a lot of dew that has settled on the camera. So it can get mildly wet and be just fine. You just don't want to dunk it without a dive case on. In terms of uh, durability of how rugged it is, uh, it can take a, it can take a fall. Um, uh, I had it set up on a tripod a couple nights ago and a, uh, it was around dawn and all the birds were waking up and one came along, landed right on the top of the, uh, uh, camera and actually knocked it all over with the tripod and fell about five feet down onto the gravel, which was really horrific. Uh, but it came through with only a couple very minor scratches on the lenses, which was sad to see. I really didn't want to scratch those lenses, but fortunately they don't show up in the in the, any of my footage. I've tested it pretty thoroughly since, and uh, to, for it to survive uh, a fall like that onto a surface like that and uh, not sustain any meaningful damage. Uh, that's pretty impressive. So it is a fairly durable camera for, for a camera with uh, such large bulbous lenses as, as it has. Uh, it's pretty impressive that it can actually take a beating and be fairly w weather re resistant. Oh uh, yeah, pretty good on that front. In conclusion, I'm pretty confident when I say that the uh, Insta360 One RS 1 inch 360 edition camera is the best 360 camera out there right now. It just provides fantastic image quality and a very user friendly and uh, high quality package. It is a really a pretty cool camera. You can do some amazing things with this. Uh, you can check out uh, kind of a full cinematic trailer that I've made for the camera of all my best footage that I've captured with it to see really what it's capable of. I have a uh, full 360 hike out on a prairie um, and you can check out my full review over at Digital Trends uh, which goes into more detail about the camera which so I highly highly recommend you check out all that. Uh, maybe consider subscribing to me here on YouTube. I'd appreciate it and I'll see you all again next time. Bye!